episode of three in the whole podcast man make sure you like subscribe and comment on the channel because we ain't doing nothing bringing heat man you know what I mean? what, what, like where you come with the name what a name come from man it was just meant for me i guess for real i guess how you how you pronounce yeah. it la duffler la duffler we talk about that man we, i was like man sometimes i just be like but at the end of the day, but that name so strong. Right. Look, look that got that popping. That's what I'm talking about. Give me a little rundown on everything. Like, from when you started, what, what, like, when did you know you want to be a rapper? Shit. I'd say about five years ago. High school? Yeah. How, what, like, I remember, like, <clears throat> I remember one time. I, I bust a freestyle and I knew like I wanted to kind of rap but it just went in me mm -hmm. like you have developed a craving for music because just looking at your work um coming up in the city how old are you 20 I just turned 20 my dog what is it like being Lil Duffler man man I damn like yeah, being Lil Duffler yeah we chasing paper first. That's real. You got to. Definitely. You know what I mean? Because if we ain't working, man, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, if you don't put in no work, boy, you don't eat. Yeah. For real, bro. For real. Oh. So, like, at Especially the end. if you ain't got no folks that's behind you, and that's rare. That's real. Right. So, you independent? Yeah, definitely. All right. Independent, the only way to go, bro. Like that, you can make your own name being independent. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. You call your own shots, you drop your own music. Definitely. I think that's wrong. Definitely. Like, what made you want to just. The rap scene is so hot right now. Yeah. It was an article in the paper, um, 24 Hip Hop. And the wording that they was. The wording that they put you on as far as they said a major artist. Now we think about what that means. Because yeah. that's a statement from a, a you know a, a accredited, you know, yeah, company. Sure. A major artist. What you feel about that? How you felt about that? I mean Goosebumps? Sad. <laughs> you know, it felt good to me. Yeah. You know, I ain't gonna get too deep, but it felt good to me. Yeah. The let, I mean, and I know we play the game for trophies. For sure. You know what I'm saying? And everybody, every game has its own trophy. Yeah. The game that I'm running, I look at the trophy on the entertainment part, media yeah. part. Yeah. Your trophy is a little different. Yeah. So being that you getting these accolades, you're doing talk shows, you're doing podcasts, you're putting your name out there. Yeah. What kind of product are you selling us as far as on the rap game? I mean, shit. I'm giving y'all the 
vibe and young. I'm talking about real deal, like a young vibe. Yeah. The real. The motive, like, motivate, like, this shit, you just gotta hit me out. I'm re- really just getting started. Right. So it's like, as I progress and get farther in, it's like, you gotta see what I'm saying, but it's like, the motivation and the vibe for the young and people my age, you feel me? That's real. People that can relate. Yeah. So, so coming up, like, when did you first drop your first song? I mean, shit, I dropped my first song when I was like 16, 17, but it was on like SoundCloud. Matter of fact, I dropped it on YouTube, but it wasn't like nobody really had nobody type shit. I just threw it out there. You were 16? Definitely. You know what I'm saying? If you're 16 and you even get 20 views, you're doing good. Definitely. Because you got to start somewhere. Yeah, I definitely it got a hundred, but you feel me? I don't think that one none to me. Yeah, definitely. that's what I like there. <laughs> so, like, when you, as you move through the day, like, as far as shows and stuff, I know you just did a, you did a couple shows in Tampa. Mm-hmm. Um, I definitely be following you. And um, man, we've been chopping it up. I want to get to one of them shows. The energy that you have from the crowd that you be that the crowd give you, like what? That's what ins- what what inspires you to kill the stage the way you do. I mean, the vibe, the folks when they show, when they when I see that they vibing and they supporting, like that yeah. really just that make me kill the scene. Ooh, literally, what a plug. What a plug, I, he made me, I gotta get it together, what a plug. Yeah. So, so, so you say Kill the Scene. Definitely. You got a song I call Kill the Scene. Definitely. That's what we was playing at the beginning. For sure. Kill the Scene is raw, I can't lie. Soon as I pop Kill the Scene on, make sure y'all tap into that, man. Lil Duffler, man, L-U-D-U-F-F-L-A. Everywhere. Everywhere. IG. Under. The song. Spotify. He on all platforms, man. The key to my Lil Duffler, man. He's definitely in the building. What inspired you to put that song up, man? That song killed the scene. Shit. I was really just vibing. Yeah. I was really just having fun on that, man. Like I told you, I was. Yeah. A little vibe on that bitch. It was a different kind of beat that I was used to. That's what I was saying. And the beat was so yeah. I ain't used to that. And shit, I just had fun on that. That's what it is. Living in the city that we live in, man, we know there's a lot of violence in our city. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. And your take on violence, man, in the city, just as a young G coming up in the streets, man, being a rap artist. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Um, I mean. I'm gonna put it like this, I'm gonna promote it. For sure. I feel like young niggas, youngins need to focus more on getting to it and the future, really. Everybody get mind fucked up, messed up. Yeah. They focus on them, everybody wanna kill. Yeah. Who, the mo- who wanna get the money? Who wanna get the money? <laughs> Fresh eyes. That's right. Really. <laughs> <laughs> going through that. That shit. We'll be here. I love the take on that too. Let's just get the money. Definitely. Get to the money mean you get up every day, man. You know you get to the hustle. Definitely. That's the motivation. What motivates you to get up every day, man, and do what we do? Shit. You just like them me. greenbacks? You like them blueies? Bluey. I, I, knew I like blueies. I fuck with the green. You know, get it wrong. You love them blueies. I take that loud. <laughs> you like. I still got the bitch, y'all. I see you came with your dog tonight, man. It's my little brother. Sure. Shout out to little bro in the building. Yeah, right? For sure. We definitely want to get him in the car too for yeah, talking about the rap game. Yeah. Do you feel like the city is supporting you in the rap game? I mean, I feel like certain certain people support me. Well, I feel like, no, matter of fact, I'll take that back. I feel like the city support me. Right. It's just, I really took a little break, really, to get my music right and get everything I needed to get my mind right and right. just get stuff right. So it's like, right, 
it, at a certain point in his life, it was like, I ain't say sleeping, but sleeping. Right. Then wake up, when it, when it get woke up, it's gonna be that love. It was love from the get go, you feel me? Yeah. It's nothing but love, you feel me? They just gotta get woke up. I'm gonna bring the pressure. That's what I like. Crazy. Some of the artists in the city, do you, how do you, do you collab with any artists in the city or you just go ham by yourself? I mean, I go ham, dope face, so I don't really be, I be in my own lane type jump, but if certain people reach out and I feel like they doing their thing and they taking it how I'm taking it, yeah. you know how I work? Yeah, that's real. Right. Working every day ain't easy, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. Even working with different artists, even putting together this a show like this, being on the podcast, Definitely. you know? Because you don't really know who for you and who you who not for you, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. But just know that three in the hole always locked in to the team. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Definitely if we reach out, man, and we make a bond, mm -hmm. three in the hole is always that, man. We got positive energy, bro. You Definitely. feel me? Definitely. So we want to see number of success because guess what? Knowledge going to be running. Mm -hmm. I'm running, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I want people to be who I'm rocking with, running with us, man, even in your lane. You in your lane, you in the music lane. I see you. I'm definitely shouting out everything, man. Look at my little dog, little duffel, man. For real. Been to Cali before? See, I ain't to that trip. Yeah. All the time. I think that's destined. I think we gonna. I think next on the agenda, you gonna go to Cali. Mm -hmm. I think you'll love that Cali is old. So yeah. Like, bro, you got so much, like, the energy that you came in the building with tonight yeah. is love. So I know Definitely. anywhere you go, it's going to be love. Definitely. So, like, how far have you been out of the city? I mean, I be taking, I take trips to, to the A. Then yeah. The era, era, the month, era, month, and, uh, Now, see, the A ain't really, people don't really, the Atlanta. Are you in the heart of Atlanta? Because people be going to, like, them out of cities. Atlanta, all, over. <clears throat> all over out that way definitely. Atlanta is a nice networking it's a nice melting pot for the definitely. hip hop community definitely. definitely how you feel about it? you think you're going to eventually move up that way I see it in your eye. Definitely. Ain't gonna lie, little bro. It just tone. <laughs> I just hit, I just hit little bro. Did I? Just, I peaked his brain. out what you, what you said? Definitely, bro. Been saying that for as long as he was like, yeah, since we went out there the first time. Yeah. Yeah, it's like we gotta get a little duck swat out there. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with it. He look, he, but guess what? What talk? Say, little bro, what you say? Might as well, we be out there so much. Yeah, that's real. Yeah, little bro, say might as well, bro. And I'm gonna be honest with you. Sometimes migrate into another community is probably best. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I yeah. definitely don't want to lose you because you know you definitely a pillar in our community. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Definitely. Getting recognized in an article like that, you definitely. know what I'm saying? That's huge. You know, definitely. I definitely salute that for real positive. So, you know, what's on the agenda for you coming up? You got any shows coming up? I mean, like it just I had said before, I had just not a lot of two and eight in Tampa. Right. You know, it's definitely vibes. Don't love the Tampa. You love the Tampa crowd. Shout out to the 813 Hills, bro. Definitely. All that out there, man. Sure. I got a couple people out there. Tell me, I got a, I got this artist that I'm actually chopping it up with from out that way. Yeah. I'm going to try to get him into the pod, too. Because that, you know, that it, the Tampa got a different kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. It's bigger, too. Definitely. You know how I am. Sure. In, in our city, you could know somebody from cross town. Definitely. Everybody kind of know everybody who making moves in our city. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? That y'all know. If y'all don't know St. Pete, Florida, <laughs> people don't know people from the West and people don't know people from Lucio yeah. and, 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 um, and all these other little parts of Tampa. They don't know each other. I got a home where we had this conversation all the time. So being that it's huge over there, what's like your favorite area in Tampa? I mean, shit, I ain't gonna say I got a favorite area. I'm just fucking with Tampa. 813, just in general. <laughs> I feel that. Nothing. The energy real. Yeah, he killed us. We're going to bring it back to the city soon. 
How many songs you got out there right now? Only about 10, 10, 10 11. Any albums? No. Nah, All singles? Any singles. I'm talking about what's coming. I'm on them. You gonna give us a snippet? You gonna let us rock with you when you come out with it? Yeah, for sure. Like what? Like what? Would, what's your time frame? Cause I know you got some stewing in the pot. I mean, I'm really getting behind. I'm really doing stuff behind the scene right now. But right, probably I would say about at least no more than a month or two. Month or two? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be some heat for sure. Real deal. Heat. I've been stacking up. That's why I ain't been. Well, not as hot I was before because yeah. I've just been trying to build that heat up and kind of get a mind frame of how I want to come. Yeah. That killer scene definitely going to get them moving. Yeah. I, I mean, I, and I know you just shot a video down in downtown St. Pete. Yeah. Definitely. Come on now. He going to say he going to go be watching what yeah, knowledge right. be on yeah. it, but look. Definitely. So, um, yeah, I know he, he think, hey, but I think you think I ain't slid through, you ain't seen me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was in the alley, I see you over there. He's not white, <laughs> what, what, like, gave you the inspiration to go do that? Because I love how you did it on no brick. Yeah, yeah, that was, I watch everything. Definitely. What was, see, what you gave you that, that drive to go out there and do that? Because, like, I ain't gonna lie, I really was, like, I'm finna just go down town and do some shit, but then I fucked around and caught that view right there. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. The yeah. view clean. Yeah. What song is that you did it on? Mm -hmm. What song that was? What video? What song that was you did it on? That was Get It Right. Get It Right? Yeah. I had you, that's your new song that you came out? That's, yeah. That's before? Most of the recent. Okay. Get It Right. What pro, What made you want to do Get It Right? I mean, I, was, I had already recorded that. I was saying on it. I'm like, I've been uh, showing it to people. I seen it and fucking with it, so I'm like, I should have been put this out. Yeah, my ass. Yeah. Doing it out there. Yeah. I know, I feel that. Yeah. I know how that is, because sometimes, like, when we first started this, we put, like, three in the hole, y'all. For real. Mm -hmm. And then, I was like that, too. Some parts, you know, I had to check everything, and sometimes I just don't like the flow of some of them, and then mm -hmm. I just... But I I got old stuff in there that I really want to throw out there. Y'all got yeah. throwback stuff out there. I mean, right? I got... Oh, a songs from two years ago that I still want to this day want to put out because I know them songs like Kill the Scene. Kill the Scene. Kill the Scene. Yeah. I'm talking about some exclusive. Um, how you feel well, about freestyling? Shit, freestyling tonight. It depends how you want to call it. Be. Oh, yeah. I got heat. I'm finna run a new segment. I, I wanna see if you wanna deal with it, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's dealing with like freestyling. It's, it's, it's gonna be locked in. Make sure y'all lock into that channel too. It's gonna be called um, Three On The Wave Heat Box. Mm -hmm. no, so. no visual, all vocal. <clears throat> this one we're gonna be able to really get it in with the artists, any artists that come sit down on Three In The Hole you know what I'm saying? We can go to the dungeon, man, and then we can go in there and, and put something, collab something on a little, uh, after we take <coughs> the picture. For sure. So, Lil Duffler, man, you know, pull into the end, man, you know, I really want to thank you for dropping in on 3 in the whole podcast, man, you know what I'm saying? On the team, definitely. For sure. I'm fucking with y'all. Appreciate man. that, Lil Wolf, for real. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um... You know, can you just let everybody know how they can reach you one more time? Yeah, y'all can reach me at, on Instagram at Ludufla, L-U-D-U-F-F-L-E. Ludufla. That's real. Get at him, man. That man ready to work. This little young man is an animal. Wow. That song, Kill the Scene, is definitely one of my favorite songs. Make sure y'all go out there and check that out. We're in the whole podcast, man. It's knowledge and I'm signing out on this. Just touch down, it's a murder scene. <laughs> Told her put that pussy in the bag. It's a burden. Three's that way. I know you heard of me. I be out of space.
face, smoking gas on Mercury. She say she can't live without me, bitch, go get a surgery. Duck on pop out flies, hell, kill the I'm in the groove right now. Let's take a picture of those. Let's take a picture of those. Let's take a picture of those.